What's going on? It's Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. And I just got done doing a, um, well, I guess I can't call it really an upgrade, but it is a cosmetic change on a base that I have. I don't, I used to have a base that was sticker bombed about two years ago and I uh, gave it away in a giveaway on the channel. I think it was the first giveaway where I used uh, the money that supported the channel to buy a base that I think was pretty adequate, very good for a beginner base, and then gave it away to you. I'm actually gearing up to do something like that again uh, hopefully around April or May. So keep your eyes open for that. It's going to be a Patreon giveaway. I'm going to be ramping that stuff up. If you want to participate in the giveaway, you know, um, I'll be talking about that in the weeks to come. So if you want a free base, if you want some free gear, you want some free strings, keep your ears to the street. I'll be talking about it in a few days or a few weeks. Just depends on how things go with the channel. That's not what this is about. That's actually about this base. This is a Sire P7. Uh, this is a little bit different than the normal P7 in that I switched the necks with my uh, vintage V7. So this base originally came with a tortoise shell pit guard and it had a rosewood neck. Uh, in its standard stock form, it was very utilitarian. I could play any genre, any room. No matter what uh, problems pop up, I can still get down. My battery die, I can go passive mode. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if the room is a little boomy, I can thin it out with my uh, mid frequency sweeper. It handled every situation very, very, very well. But uh, as time goes on, you know, you acquire different instruments and you kind of lose lose focus on the on the uh, workhorses that you, you know, used to just depend on and kind of go towards the things that are a little bit cooler, you know, in the time. You know, that's just how people are. So uh, or that's just how I am. It's neither here nor there. It's neither here. Definitely there. Self-reflection. It's key. Uh, but yeah, this is a P7 bass, P pickup, five string bass. If you want to verify what I just said, the headstock actually has the V7 badge on it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. There you go. You can see the V7 badge on it. So I did swap the necks of my vintage V7 with this P bass. So the V7 has the rosewood neck. Sounds great, it's a jazz bass. And then I put the maple neck on this one because you know, white and maple looks clean. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the thing that I did to this bass was I sticker bonded. So all anime stuff, I think I bought a pack of stickers for maybe like six bucks off Amazon. And um, came out pretty cool, man. It adds a little flavor to the base. If you see it from afar, you're like, okay, this is a multicolor situation. But the anime nerds, the more you come in, you're like, hey, is that Luffy? Is that Chopper? Is that is that Naruto? Yeah, all those people. I didn't, I couldn't find stickers from all of the uh, anime that I actually really like, but. I hit a few of them. I got uh, some uh, Dang and Rumpa uh, stickers in here as well, sprinkled in. Attack on Titan. Um, yeah, I think those are the four that I kind of stuck with. So, uh, One Piece, Naruto, Attack on Titan, Dang and Rumpa, and My Hero Academia. That was the last one, I think. I may have some other ones in here, but I, I gotta look because they're cohesively put in there so yeah this is this is what it looks like and I think it came out pretty cool so before we uh, go any further let me tell you what the process was originally I had this base she zoom in on you boy appreciate that uh, originally I had this base and it was a tortoise shell I was like 
I can do a little bit more with it. You know what I'm saying? So I put a, um, what do you call a thermal wrap on it. So whenever it goes into the sun, it like absorbs the UV rays and then it illuminates blue. I thought that was cool because I had a few situations where I would play a gig outside and I would play facing the sun so that whenever the light, like, you know, whenever it goes to night, the headstock matched the pit guard and they both like shine blue in the middle of the night. Made for cool pictures and stuff like that. Um, but the world shut down. You know, so I'm not playing gigs anymore and I kind of wanted to do something else. So I kind of put this one on the back burner and then um, I was buying some stickers for my little boy and I seen these anime stickers for like six bucks, like a, a pack of a hundred. And I was like, that'd be a cool idea. Now, I said all that to say this. If I get if I ever get tired of what this looks like or I want to change it out and just start over. I take the knobs off, I take all the screws out, I pull the 3M material, and then the stickers come off with it. Then I have a tortoiseshell pig guard, and I can start over from scratch. So I can take this base and then put, you know, a holographic uh, 3M wrap on it. Or I could do a, uh, you know, a hot orange or a hot pink or whatever crazy color I want to because the base is a 3M wrap. And the cool thing about this is if I go and play a gig in the daytime, all of these exposed spots where you just see white, like right here and like right here and stuff like that, even the edge around the whole base, around the whole pig guard rather, those are gonna catch the UV rays and at nighttime, those are gonna shine through. So I'm interested to see what that looks like later on once, you know, gigs outside and stuff start happening again. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and tell you about the base. And I thank y'all for supporting. And uh, yeah, and by the time you see this, I would have already put out an Instagram post or a YouTube post, so. This is just the explanation behind the post because a lot of, I caught a lot of people off guard like they didn't know I was nerdy like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm completely geeky. So <laughs> yeah, but this is a dope bass, man. This is the first gen. I've had this bass for about four years uh, going on, probably four, maybe five at this point. It has been solid. Never had any problems with it breaking down or anything like that. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to be doing some stuff with its younger brother, a la Lobster. Got the P10 back there. So there will be a shootout that's going to be coming in the future. So be ready for that. It's going to be a... Um, should I buy that one or should I get this one? A thousand dollars difference. Is it worth it? So, yeah. Anyway, till then, I've been Alan Brown, a.k.a. Bully the Kid. Till next time, y'all be easy.